Kia ora, and welcome to a lesson on level two networks, specifically traversability. So in traversability, we are discussing whether looking at our network, can you travel around your network along every edge of a network, going along each edge only once, without going along the same edge twice. And if you look at the network I've just drawn, I've managed to go along this entire network without going along the same edge twice in a continuous pattern like so, okay? And you don't necessarily need to be able to look at a diagram and do what I've just done there, which is starting at a point, draw around it like so, or any other method that you may choose to do. There's multiple ways of getting around this network, traveling along edges only once, okay? Um, but what you do need to be able to do is investigate the network and investigate a key feature about the nodes and the edges of a network, which will tell you whether the diagram is either fully traversable, semi-traversable, or not traversable, okay? The diagram we're currently looking at is an example of fully traversable. The reason it is fully traversable is if I look at each node and the number of edges coming off the node, I need to categorize it as either odd or even. So if I look at node A, there are two edges coming off, which is an odd, uh, sorry, not an odd, which is an even number of edges, okay? At B, there are four edges, one, two, three, four. So I can say there's four edges here, which is also even. At C, we have four edges, which is even. At D, there are four edges, which is even. At E, we've got four edges, which means it's an even node. At F, it is even, because it's also four. And at G, we've got two, which means it's also even. So if there are no odd nodes in your network, then the diagram is what we call fully traversable. And a fully traversable diagram means you can start at any node, travel around the whole diagram, going along every edge exactly once, no more than once, and you'll end up back where you started. So if I start at A, I'll finish at A. If I started at F, I'll end up finishing at F. Like so. So that is a fully traversable network, and I can choose any of these nodes to start and finish. So let's have a look at another diagram. So let's have a look at this diagram. Let's start off by just looking at whether the uh, nodes are odd or even, and then we'll discuss what that means. So looking at A, we have three edges coming off. One, two, three, which means that this is an odd degree. Looking at B, there are four edges, so it is even. At E, we've got two, which is even. At F, four, so it's even. At C, three, so it is even. And at D, we have four, so it is also even. Okay. So in this diagram, we don't have all our nodes even. We've got, I don't know why I said C was even, it should be odd, sorry. Um, so in this diagram, we've got not every node is even anymore. If it was, it would still be fully traversable. This time we've got two odd nodes. Okay, And if there's exactly two odd nodes, that means that the diagram is what we call semi-traversable. Okay? This means that there are only two places where you can start and inevitably finish. Okay? And the two places that you can start are the odd nodes. You cannot navigate this entire network starting at any of the even nodes. So if I start at A, go to B, E, F, swing back to B, go D, F, C, D, A, I can finish at C. So I've traveled along every edge exactly once. I started at A and I finished at C. If I were to start at C, I could go any direction 
and then I will end up navigating this entire network. Instead of finishing at C this time, I'm going to finish at A. So when I started at A, I finished at C. And when I started at C, I finished at A. So that's the other thing about a semi-traversable network is you have to start at one of the odds and you'll finish at the other odd. Okay? If I was to try and start an even, it will never work. Okay? I'll always end up with one of the edges not being used or having to travel along an edge to get back to be able to cover it. Okay? So that brings us on to our fourth situation which is not traversable. Not traversable network is a network where you can't travel along every edge exactly once. You'd have to travel along one of the edges more than once to be able to travel the whole network. And that occurs when there are more than two odd nodes. So in this case, where we've got more than two odd nodes, we've already got three here. In fact, I think all of the nodes here are odd. But it's just that, it's not that... Um, all of them have to be odd, it's just more than two odd nodes. Okay, if there's more than two odd nodes, then the entire network is not traversable. Okay, so no matter where I start, I'll never be able to cover off every edge without having to go back along an edge to cover off the final one. So that gives us three statements. If a network has no odd nodes, so if the network has no nodes with an odd number of edges, the network is fully traversable, which means you can go around the whole network, traveling along every edge only once, and you'll start and finish at the same node. Okay, so that's fully traversable. If the network has two nodes with an odd number of edges, the network is semi-traversable. This means you can travel around the whole network, traveling along every edge only once, However, you start at an, you have to start at an odd node and you'll finish at the other odd node. So that's a key difference is you'll have to start an odd and you'll have to finish at the other odd. And if a network has more than two, so two or more uh, nodes with an odd number of edges, the network is not traversable, which means you can't go around the whole network traveling along every edge only once. Okay, so that's traversability. Hopefully that will help you with this networks assessment. Good luck. And uh, there'll be videos on minimum spanning tree as well as shortest path as well that you can watch. Bye.